Hi, this is Dog with Brew Control. In this video, I'll walk through our first turnkey 30 amp 240 volt brewing controller, the Uniflex. This is the Uniflex control system. We made the Uniflex for those who are interested in an advanced, integrated, modular, and upgradable brewing controller, but do not have the time, desire, or capability to build their own. We made the Uniflex to be unlike any other brew controller on the market. This was achieved primarily because it is built on the foundation of brew control software, which eliminates dead-end hardware controls in favor of easily modified software controls, such as digital and analog inputs and outputs, sensor inputs, PIDs, graphs, alarms, timers, buttons, switches, and more. Brew control software also includes our exclusive scripting language, which provides the ability to customize and automate any part of the brewing process, including delayed start timing, step mashing, boil over protection, sparging, temperature profiling, and so on. This foundation enables you to build your electric brewery in stages, starting from a personal, customizable, beautiful and functional digital control panel, then advance to a fully automated brewery if desired. Not only that, brew control can monitor and control other devices in the brew house, including fermenters, dispensers, cleaners, and more. Another completely different attribute of the Uniflex is that it is both modular and upgradable. When you spec out your Uniflex, you choose the hardware options that you want to suit your needs. Then, as your brewing goals evolve, you can send the controller into us for an upgrade. For example, if you're a brew in the bag brewer today, you can purchase a single vessel Uniflex. Then later, if you decide to move to a two or three vessel brewery, you can send the Uniflex in for upgrade to dual vessel control. I'll walk through the configurable options, the first of which is your choice of power input. You can select a four wire input with a NEMA 1430 plug or a three wire input via a six or 1030 plug. In three wire configuration, the Uniflex is also powered via a standard 120 volt NEMA 515 plug. The next configurable option is single or dual vessel. You can use these 240 volt outputs to power heating elements in rims, herms, or boil kettle vessels. Next is single or dual accessory power. Use these 120 volt power outputs to control pumps or other devices such as a valve to fill your vessels or control flush water. Next is a standard binary or optional proportional solid state relay. The binary SSR is the normal style which turns on and off every few seconds to deliver a total average power, whereas the proportional control SSR delivers a consistently modulated amount of power, which can reduce heat cycling and the pulsing often seen from heating elements. Another option is integrated inputs and outputs. This I.O. includes 17 total points, 12 high current outputs, one analog output, and four inputs, which can be either digital or 12-bit analog. Flexible, user-defined I.O. cannot be found on any other controller. And this is an incredible option for those looking to add advanced controls for automation in their brewery, such as valves, volume sensors, flow meters, inline pH sensors, and more. Automation is the next stage in brewing which helps you not only brew faster, but much more consistently and repeatedly. Another configurable selection is passive cooling, which includes the external heatsink, like in this model or active cooling where there is no external heatsink and the SSR is cooled internally via a fan. In both models, a case fan is integrated to keep the internal electronics additionally cooled. The final option is mounting. Rubber feet are standard, but a DIN rail kit is optional should you ever wish to mount the Uniflex on a wall or plate. The Uniflex is made with high quality componentry. For example, we use exclusively Kritom SSRs. No foreign knockoffs, which are known to be mislabeled and prone to failure. Uniflex is built on the ESP32 interface microcontroller, which communicates with the brew control software application via Wi-Fi. The firmware is upgradable over the air, so Uniflex doesn't ever need to be moved from its mounting location, and it will acquire new functionality as we release updates. Unlike some software-based brew controllers in the market, the Uniflex has positive electromechanical relay interlocks on the vessel power outputs. This means that power to the elements is fully disconnected when disabled. Let's take a look at the design. The enclosure is compact at under 12 inches by 7 inches by 4 inches. B 
Because it has no dedicated controls other than the power switch, you can mount it anywhere on your brewery so long as it remains dry and ventilated. Let's look at the front panel from right to left. This is the Wi-Fi antenna, which can be oriented and removed if needed. Next to the antenna is the temperature probe jack. Here is a look at the universal temperature probe. These utilize one wire sensor technology, are 10 feet long, use shielded cable for noise isolation, and terminate in a three and a half millimeter angle plug. The probe tip is about four inches long, one quarter inch diameter, and can be installed into any vessel or fitting via compression adapters, which are not included. The Uniflex supports up to 10 temperature probes and additional ones can be integrated via off-the-shelf headphone splitters. The Uniflex includes one probe for single vessel and two for dual vessel configurations, but additional probes can be added as needed to either. Next are connectors for the optional I.O. and I.O. power. We include the mating connectors with the configuration, so you can wire in your I.O. at once or in stages as needed. In terms of power, you can use the internal power supply, which can provide up to 1 amp total at 12 volts DC. If you need more power or a different operating voltage, you can provide it from a separate power supply of up to 24 volts DC and 15 amps into the Uniflex via this power connector. When doing this, each high current output can drive up to 3 amps. That's enough to drive a DC brewing pump directly. Next is the power switch, which is a standard push button that illuminates when on. On the back are pigtail connectors for main power power outputs, and accessory outputs. A 5 amp circuit breaker is also included to ensure current limits are maintained on the accessory outputs. Here I will review the setup process for the Uniflex. First, unplug all temperature probes and plug in the included setup dongle plug. Power up the controller and wait a few seconds. Using a Wi-Fi enabled device such as a phone, tablet, or computer, search for a Wi-Fi access point with the SSID name of Brew Control plus a unique ID. Connect to that access point and enter the password if asked. Then, using the device's browser, open a website at IP address 192.168.10.1. Here, you enter the Wi-Fi parameters of the network the Uniflex will connect to normally. Enter the access point SSID and the password. If using DHCP for IP address assignments, leave the next fields blank. If you want to establish a static IP address for the Uniflex, enter the IP address, the gateway, and the subnet addresses. Hit save and you will see the parameters reported back again to confirm completion. Now, power off the Uniflex, remove the dongle plug, and power it back on to connect to the network. In Brew Control, open the settings icon and add the interface if needed. Here I'm showing the pre-made configuration we provide to enable a quick start for new users. I'd like to give a shout out to Brian Rabe of LowOxygenBrewing.com for creating the background for us. On this workspace, we have the device elements for the Uniflex. We have this laid out where vessel 1 and 2 are on the left and right respectively, but in Brew Control you can configure the location and style and background of each of these in any way you desire. In this layout we have temperature graph and temperature, timers, heater enable switches, some alarms, pump or accessory switches for both vessels, and then we have the PID control and duty control as well. In this example, I'm just going to heat water in a vessel. We're not going to brew beer, that'll be a video for another day. But here you can see we have a consistent temperature of this water. So in order to begin heating, I'm going to enable the first vessel heater, and then I'm going to turn on this PID and set a temperature of, let's say, 150 degrees. As soon as I do that, the Uniflex applies full power to the heating element and the temperature will start to climb. The PID will, of course, continue to heat until the temperature set point is reached and then 
the temperature will be maintained by the PID. In just a few seconds, you can see that the temperature is beginning to climb. Here we're starting to approach our target temperature of 150 degrees. I think with such a small volume of water and high degree of power, we'll probably overshoot by a degree or two. But you will see as we approach the temperature, the PID will start to rein in and reduce the power output in order to hold the uh, temperature required. So here you can see the PID did turn the power output down to zero because of that rapid overshoot. And once the temperature starts to settle, PID will begin applying heat as needed to maintain a consistent temperature. So as I predicted, we overshot by a couple of degrees and now you can see the temperature is holding steady. However, if I did want to increase the temperature again, it would be very simple. Just click the PID device element, change the temperature that you want to, click OK, and the PID will recalculate and begin applying power as needed. In this case, I just asked for a couple of degrees. You can see after a few minutes, the temperature is stabilized and the PID continues to hold that temperature. While this isn't brewing beer, hopefully you get a sense of what a digital control panel in brew control and specific to the Uniflex looks like. Thanks for taking a look at the Uniflex. If you have any questions or would like further information, please see our website at brewcontrol.com or send us an email at info at brewcontrol.com or take a look at our Instagram pages for updates along the way. Have a great day.